program was recorded at the ARC Annual Industry Forum in Orlando, Florida. I'm pleased to welcome Editor-in-Chief of Supply Chain Brain, Russell Goodman. Joining us for a conversation today on energy management is Will Chen, Research Director at ARC Advisory Group. Welcome, Will. Thank you, Russell. Will, why is there such interest today in energy management? Well, if you look in the news, papers, the media, energy, 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 in our own lives, what we see is gasoline prices goes up, oil prices goes up. If you're in the Northeast, it costs you $1,000 every month just to heat your home. But in reality, what has happened is that combining the stimulus package, the global warming issues, all of these things are forcing industry to really look at that, particularly in the U.S. In Europe, it's been going on for a long time, much greener, much more concerned with everyone's in their minds, but in the U.S., not so much. Well, speaking of uh, industries, uh, what are the key drivers that, would, that uh, cause industries to want to initiate the type of energy management program that you're speaking about? Well, when it was just uh, cleaning up the environment, uh, it wasn't a real big issue because industry is really concerned about making money, profitability to their shareholders. So when you start considering uh, the total cost of energy continues to go up, industry is now taking note. So what they're doing is it's saving, the, which goes right down to the bottom line, that is important to industry. That's what's driving them. Let's talk specifics now about the energy management solutions. What types are available? Well, it's gonna, it's, it really depends on the industry you're in. So if you're in commercial buildings, it's HVAC, heating, ventilation, air conditioning. If you're talking about uh, small buildings, large buildings, it's the lighting. Lighting accounts, uh, if you look at HVAC and lighting, it could account for 60% of the energy. However, if you look at industries, what I call process industries, oil and gas industries, power generation, those uh, industries require running equipment. And the equipment, uh, if you look at, is uh, big motors, all right? So you're talking about electricity. You're looking at uh, production units. All of those are quite different. And so when you look at industry, you're really talking about what I call wages, and that's how I remember it. And wages is water, uh, um, uh, air, gas, electricity, and steam. A lot of different things other than what is looked at in building automation. What kind of industries are prob uh, uh, probably stand the most to gain from the type of solutions we're speaking about here? Mm. It's really the guys that use a lot of steam, and the guys that use a lot of steam is the oil and gas refineries. And we have tons of refineries around the U.S., thousands of if you really look at it around the world. So it's that kind of industry where it could represent uh, 40, 50 percent of the total production cost. Those are the industries that would use it. So Will, what are some of the challenges to implementing the kind of solutions that we've been talking about here? There are actually many challenges. The first major one is the fact that we do a great job in process plants of controlling the plants. So if you look at uh, refineries, we can do a very good job in making different grades of gasoline, diesel fuel, jet fuel, you name it, all from a barrel of crude oil. But uh, when you talk about energy, we don't have the right infrastructure or the architecture where we can grab that information. And for that to happen, it requires investment. And that investment could mean millions of dollars to invest so that it requires a company to have a long-term perspective when they look at energy management. So that's where the problem lies. Today, refineries really have a tough time in making money. Uh, refineries do not produce the oil. For example, many refineries 
in the U.S. only refine. They don't make any money finding the oil. Uh, they don't make any money transporting the oil. But they just take the crude oil and make products out of it. So which means that they don't have the money. So which means they don't have the architecture. Because the architecture you need for energy management is new sensors, new measurements, in addition to what they currently have. And so to do that and also do it in a way that does not disrupt the current organization, which will reduce their profitability even more, they need some technologies. Fortunately, there are ways to get around that, and wireless is one of those ways. Deploying wireless sensors in those areas to measure the energy consumption, and that could be electricity, that could be steam, that could be other gases and compressed air. All of those things you can do. But using wireless, you can do it while the plant's running. No one has to shut down. And I believe that of any of the technologies that's going to help energy management, wireless is the one. Now once you get all that done, you really need to get the management to understand the highest levels of manage, that the energy management is a culture. The energy management should not be an add-on to something, but that is the vision of the company. And that's what is going to drive and sustain energy management. Not today, when we have the stimulus and we have all of these funds to help it, but to drive it long term, so that we and you and I will have a better environment to grow, especially our kids. What are the uh, areas of uh, energy management that uh, ARC is going to be researching in 2010? Well, that is a, actually a difficult question because, as you can see, energy management is actually quite a very broad subject. And so we're beginning to look at HVAC, which we just completed, but we're going to be looking at lighting. We'll be looking at general energy management systems that are more enterprise orientated which will look at all of the pieces within a plant, regardless of what kind of plant you would have. So it's quite diverse and quite flexible. And uh, the other things we're looking at is renewable energies, such as solar. Okay, so a lot of those kinds of research uh, we will be doing in 2010. Well, this is probably very valuable information for the viewers. Thank you so much for being with us today. Thank you. Will Chen. ARC Advisory Group speaking with us today about energy management. Thanks for watching.